face with third and nine. He has Lofton to the right. The tight end is split left. Dickey needs nine yards. Plenty of protection, and it's a first down. It's caught by Jefferson. John Jefferson caught it, covered by Nolan Cromwell. And a first down for Green Bay. On the right side. And the ball bobbles up into the air, and a scramble for it. A fumble, and the Rams do have it. The fumble on the snap from center. The ball went straight up in the air, and Los Angeles comes away with it. Reggie Doss covered it on the Green Bay 40-yard line. Motion is shown by the tight end, Mike Barber. A toss to Goolin. The big fullback cuts it back up the middle, and he got four, almost five yards. Possession after recovering the fumble. Jones gives the ball to Tyler, and he gets a first down inside the 30-yard line. Then the ball came loose. Did Green Bay get it back? They really scramble for that ball, and the officials have to sort them out. That's mayhem down there as they try to determine who has the ball after a fumble. Now we're going to see it. He swings it out, and the receiver falls down, and Wendell Tyler is taken down for a loss on the play. They got a double zone covering the outside receivers. They're going to have to try to hit the tight end or one of the backs. Jones rolls away from trouble, slips and falls, and his cuts down. And uh, they may be able to try a field goal with the help of the wing. Casey Merrill was in there to cover him. A very tight formation. Jefferson in motion now. And here comes the big tailback. I tell you, he can do some things. He's for the 35, 40-yard line. And out of bounds at the 43-yard line of Green Bay. Bumped out by Johnny Johnson. Dell Rogers now at the Green Bay 43. The fake draw. The pass by Dickey to the sideline. And it is caught by Jefferson at the 37-yard line of the Rams, despite the very good hit by Pat Thomas. You said they were going to pick on Thomas. Reaching into the other team's territory, Eddie Lee Ivory checks back in. Here is Ellis, the fullback. He found another hole. He's inside the 30. The Rams recover the fumble. Back the other way with the ball is Rod Perry down the sideline to midfield. He's down to the Green Bay 43-42 yard line, and there are no flags. The play will stand. The tackle by Goforth. That's a put it on the room on the right side. Jones tosses to Tyler. Tyler makes his cut. He is down for big yards to about the 31, and that'll be a first down. Hood is playing very soft on that side, and they got to throw the ball in that area sometime pretty soon. Gooman plunges for about four over the right side. Wendell Tyler tried to block for him, but didn't do a very good job. Side all the room in front of Hood over and over. Jones down the middle, and it is caught by Wendell Tyler, and he fumbles inside the five. But the Rams get it back, and it'll be first and goal. What a crazy game this is. Tyler caught it, ran to about the two, and then Doug Smith recovered his teammate's fumble. They're keeping the ball, and almost, he's touchdown. Touchdown is what it is with Wendell Tyler. Tyler got there. They tried to drive him back, but one official saw him get over the goal line despite the efforts of Mike Douglas. It's a touchdown. And the Rams score their first points of 1982. Yeah. Right in on them. You have to have good hands to go. Well, the Packers survived one fumble, but not the second. Off to the right, along with Jefferson to the right. And Dickey fumbles the ball. It's up for grabs. And it looked like Green Bay got it back. That's their third fumble. And now they say the Rams have the ball. Red Casson says the Rams have the ball. Coming away with it was the defensive back, Johnny Johnson. He took it away from the Packer player. On third down, Jones with a rather deep drop. Pops it inside the 15, and it is caught, and it's first and goal. Wendell Tyler again. Johnny Gray trying to keep up with him, but couldn't do it. And it's a touchdown to Mike Barber. Caught a sure-handed receiver here. The flag is down. Interference, number 81 of the offense, blocking downfield, it's still third down. It was the second tight end, Ron Battle, who was in there. He was blocking downfield. That's the end of its third and goal. We got a blitz. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Almost picked off inside the five-yard line, but it is broken up nonetheless. By Estes Hood, the fellow they're picking on, and so the Rams will have to settle for a field goal. Three. 
down. The kick is good, and it's 10 to nothing in favor of the Rams. 22 yard field goal, 10 nothing Los Angeles. Pass play by Dickey. And what a good catch beyond the 30 yard line for a first down. John Jefferson, he is murdered. Yes, he is murdered. And that time he was in a slot formation. He, he, put, he went in motion, ran inside. Pat Thomas was covering occasions, and the, Pat, and the Rams have gone about 40 or 50 yards. This is a third down and 12, and Dickey runs, and he is sacked inside the 25, and it's time to kick. And the Rams got to him, led by Jack Youngblood. Leroy Urban back waiting inside his 40. And that's a line drive, and he'll return this one. Watch it. We'll see some action from the 37 to the 40 to the 45, and out to about the 49-yard line. Down the right, along with Willie Miller. And then Barber on the left side, and Jones long down the right sideline, and it is caught. There was Willie Miller, and it is first down and goal to goal from the 8-yard line. Tuttle for three, and Green Bay would like to have that happen again. Jones looking into the end zone, and it's a touchdown to Barber again. They call one back earlier, but this one isn't coming back, and that makes it 16 to nothing. Better get going, or they're going to get blown out today. Trying to get his clock moving. And Rodgers and Meade, two rookies. He fakes to Rodgers, and he screens it out to the right, and it moves across the 25-yard line for a few yards. For the ball. Here is Meade, and plunges for a first down. He got it. He followed a good block by Ivory. There wasn't much there, but before Carl Eckern made the tackle, first down from their 30. Dickey hit the ball very well. Throws, and it is caught beyond the 45-yard line. The tackle by Johnny Johnson. Might run the ball left here. They're in that overshifted defense again. Another pass play on first down, and it's caught. Inside the 45 of the Rams by Jefferson. To the left, loft and right. The running play and very little yardage, but it is the first down for Eddie Lee Ivory. He's up. The Chiefs have got it out in front. There's a toss and a reverse to loft and look out, James. You better go back the other way. He needs a couple of blocks. He is brought down for a loss of four. Rod Perry came up, read it, and knocked him cuckoo over there. And into the right side. Dickey has time. Steps up and throws. It's intercepted. Coming with it is Rod Perry, who just made that previous tackle. He's out of bounds at the 47 of Green Bay, and that's their fourth turnover. And that time, Jefferson slipped on the infield part of the field. And he Opening day. It's second down and 10. Here is a delay to Wendell Tyler. He moves for five down to the 42-yard line. It's in the half. The Rams leading 17 to nothing. Have a third and five. Flag was thrown and the pass is incomplete. It bounced off the uh, right shoulder of Mike Barber, covered by John Anderson, the linebacker. Good. You see the defense uh, last year for Green Bay was pretty good. Here's a toss to the tailback Ivory, and he's tackled at the original line of scrimmage. I wanted to mention their new left guard, Tim Huffman, number 74 for Green Bay. The nothing Los Angeles. They stay on the ground, and Ivory breaks out. And he is taken down very close to a first down. Time. You saw a good hit by Johnny Johnson. Second down and one. And the screen loses yardage. Got it out to Mike Mead, the rookie. I think that play has to be a little quicker, doesn't it, uh, Hank? Jim Young. Motion by Jefferson. Dickey looking and incomplete. Lofton had continued over the middle. And Dickey threw the ball well behind him, and the fans don't appreciate it at all. It's time for the Packers to punt. Time. And uh, Leroy Irvin is back inside his 40, kicking with the wind. It's a dandy kick, but Irvin will get some yards from the 30-yard line. He's to the 35-40, broke a couple of tackles to midfield. Only one man is there, Stakowicz. Down goes Irvin as he makes his cut inside the 20-yard line. Guy Prather caught up to him, and Redden was 5-2. <laughs> Third down and six. Jones gives it to the fellow we are just talking about, and nothing doing for the rookie. And it's field goal time for the Reds. Hutton throw the ball well. Doug Smith with a good snap. Three more 
points for the Rams with 138 remaining in the half. The score amounts to 20 to nothing. And the two rookie kickers you talked about at the top of the program, uh, Hank, have responded very well. Yes. They fake the blitz. Straight rush pass. Picked off. Another turnover. With the ball is Kyle Ecker in the middle linebacker, and it's at the 37-yard line, and the fans are really letting him have it now. 20 to nothing. Jones on second and 15. 6-3-2-11. He fakes the draw, and he passes out here. It's caught by the fullback, Redden. Well, he showed good hands for a big guy. Went up and put it away and carried it down to the 31-yard line. Third down and five for the Rams with an art of motion. Trying to run the same pattern. He was knocked off the pattern. Goes the other way. The pass is caught by Willie Miller, and that's a first down. With less than a minute remaining. But it's a first down, down to the 16. 30 seconds left and a sack. The linebacker, Mike Douglas, the most active of their linebackers, came roaring in there, and now this scuffle breaks up. Here's to the right side. Drew Hill to the left. Better protection. Jones steps up and he runs with the ball. He runs inside the 15 and he's safe at second base on around the 12. Now uh, they have to rush the field goal unit on. Will hold the ball at the 19. Four seconds left. They'll get it off. And is it good? Yes, it is. And the score is 23 to nothing. Very, very good drill by the Rams. Get him from the 23. They got to go to a back or a tight end here. And Jones is set. That's the third time that Jones has been taken down. Now, there's a pretty good example of where people are wrong who say, looks like Green Bay doesn't want to play. Well, that's not too hot, is it? Digging into the wind, he got a good bounce, and Gray picks it up on the 35, gets back to the 40, east to the 45. A 10-yard return and pretty good field position for the pack. Well, if they could shock the Rams quickly. There's it by Eckert, one by Perry. Down pass by Lynn Dickey. Long over the middle and caught inside the 40 by Lofton. And a first down. Off from the side end on the left side. Here's the pass long for Kaufman and interference. And Dickey and Danny Johnson ran right over his feet. Yes, he did. It was tripping, no question about that. It was very obvious. Johnny Johnson. First and goal from the eighth. How can they get some points? Rogers, the rookie, pours his way inside the five. Talking about Bell Rogers, the rookie out of Utah. Reggie Doss first to get him. Carl Eckern also there. Trying to get their first points. Dickey with a fake and a pass and a touchdown. And now he may have pushed off. The tight end may have pushed off or he may have been held. But in any event, a flag was thrown. Let's see who gets uh, caught for doing something here. First Green Bay points of the day. Pretty play good fake. Play action fake. Does a good job of selling. Watch the middle linebacker blitzing on the play. He dumps the ball over the top. He makes the catch talking about Kaufman. But in the process, they call holding on the play. Penalty declined. 39 remaining in the half. There in the third quarter. And third and four. Tyler's taken down, and the Rams will have to punt. And things aren't going so well for L.A. right now. It's Rich Wingo, number 50, the tackler. Formidable, by the way. And a single safety, Gray is waiting for it. It's a pretty good kick. Not too well covered. Gray takes it on the 43. He's to midfield. He's down to the Rams' 47-yard line. So the Packers go from the Rams' 47, and again, Doug Barnett. Pass play by Dickey. Pretty good protection. He throws it long. Kaufman has it. First and goal. First and goal with a fingertip catch at the three-yard line over Johnny Johnson. Yeah. 23 to 7. It's a good time for a play-action pass. It's close to the goal line. It'll be Eddie Lee Ivory. And to the goal line and over. A touchdown by Ivory. Is this game changing? Well, he stuck it in there good. They had a wing back on the right side. Three left in the half. The Rams three plays, 47 yards. And the touchdown run by Eddie Lee Ivory. Second down and 12. Jones 
fakes the draw. Not a very good fake. He airs it out downfield and under through it. And it is incomplete. He couldn't quite get it down far enough for Drew Hill, covered by Mike McCoy. Beckowitz. He's kicking with the wind. And the wind drives Urban back to the 24. Coming outside on the baseball diamond, he hurdles out to the 35-yard line. And downfield was Guy Prather for Green Bay to make the hit. Second down and six. A toss to Gooman trying to get outside. Wingo chases him, can't catch him. And Gooman unloads across the 45. He is out of bounds. Third down and a foot coming up. Spot like this. Well, the back fell down. Nothing doing. No first down. Wendell Tyler slipped and was covered by John Anderson. Yeah. Well, he's got a bump and run on the, on the right side on Lofton, whether they're going to double cover him or not, but I would be surprised if he doesn't try to throw the ball to him if it is bump and run. He just beat the 30-second clock, the long one over the middle, the defender. Here's Cromwell intercepting the ball, a clean interception, and the sixth Packer turnover carries the ball down to the Green Bay 42-yard line. And then Rush Dickey. Cody Jones, number 76, getting good pressure, getting good pressure on the outside, but look at the ball. Lofton did not know where the ball was going to be thrown and was not in the right position, and he threw the ball prematurely, evidently, and Cromwell comes up with the interception. And it's second down and five for the Rams, and here's Tyler blasting inside the 35, down near the 33, very close to a first down as we start the fourth quarter. George Cumby was the tackler again. Motion by the tight end battle. To give to the tailback Tyler. He hurdled for a first down. The ball came loose. The ball came loose. Oh, that pigskin. The big guys. They search him down pretty good. Fumble was recovered by the White. Will penalize five yards. Well, the Rams got the ball back. Red Cashin said that's enough digging around. Down. No interceptions. He's been sacked three times. Here's the fade, the end around to Billy Waddy. He needs a block, and he is short of a first down. He was tackled by Estes Hood. It'll be a fourth down play. Our drive. Let's see where his left foot is, Jack. His left heel should be, you can't tell. He got it off to the left and no good. Well, the Packers dodge the bullet. The score remains as is. The ball will come back to the line of scrimmage. And by Jefferson. And Vicky's pass. Over the middle and caught at the 45. That's a first down. Caught by John Jefferson, the tackler. Johnny Johnson was right on his tail. And react and respond. There you see him in motion. He delays, breaks underneath. It's finally picked up there by number 20, Johnny Johnson, but not until after. Jefferson's in the slot to the right. It's first down at the Green Bay 45. There's a first down pass. Long over the middle, Jefferson. Caught it. Full stride. 20, 15, 10. First and goal from the five yard line. Jefferson again. And try to get it into the end zone. And he may have gotten into the end zone if he didn't pop that hamstring. I hope that's not what it is. But that's it. what it looked like. It was bump and run with Rod Perry, and he got away from Perry and looked him downfield. Perry tried to make a stab at the ball, but there he goes. And it's finally tackled by Nolan Cromwell, number 21. He got down to the five, and he's still not up. That was a 50-yard pass play. Bounces back up. I'm all right, he says. Oh, I'm glad it's not a hamstring. He'd have been out for about a month. He's hobbling, but he's double tough. Three in the backfield. It's Meade with Ivory, and there goes Meade, searching for the goal line and only got to the four. Well, there's a penalty on the play. He's Number 57 on the offense, still first down. Darrell Goforth, the uh, left guard, was the man who was caught. Second and goal from the 15. They're going to try to throw for it. Into the end zone, loft and touchdown. Touchdown. Pat Thomas was trying to stay with him and couldn't do it. Well, he made a good outside move on Thomas and looked him in the end zone for the touchdown and looked him good. Contact there in the end zone, wasn't there, Hank? Yeah, look at the blitzing linebacker coming, young bud. But he delivers the ball. Look, he steps up into the pocket very well, talking about Dickey. And look at all the room he's got. A lot of room, a lot of, a lot of air between he and Thomas. He's led by the score of 23 to nothing. Here we see Lofton again this time. Dickey, and you have to give Dickey a lot of credit. Watch the blitzing linebacker. They pick him up well. Dickey steps up, throws the ball. 
to the outside. Too often, he lets Pat Thomas touch down Green Bay. Robert Alexander waiting for it. Gets a bad bounce. He's in trouble. Picks it up at the five. Gets to the ten. And down he goes. The ball comes loose. And Green Bay apparently has it. Let's wait and see if the officials concur with the Green Bay player. They're still struggling for that ball. Green Bay has the ball. They recover the rookie, the second-year man's fumble on the 10-yard line. Somewhere they have to run a trap inside. There's a pass play on first down, and it is at the goal line. Touchdown. Touchdown to the tight end, Kaufman, his second of the day. Green Bay with a fantastic comeback. Why, heck, they just scored uh, 17 seconds ago. At the hit, give Dickey a lot of credit. He puts it right on the money. Good pass protection. All the time, step up and throw. Good vision. Kaufman makes the catch. It's covered there by Cromwell, but he lets him into the end zone for the touchdown. And I'm sure. Here we see another view of it. Good protection. Fanning trying to get pro protection, but he steps up into the pocket and delivers the ball right on the money beyond the outstretched arms, hands of Nolan Cromwell. I still can't understand why they don't throw the ball in front of Hood over there on the right side. Jones over to the right side and is caught for a first down by Willie Miller. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Look how deep he is. I keep throwing the ball over there and make him until he came up. Here is Jones looking this time left. And it is caught by Gooman. He's down at the Green Bay territory and knocked down at the 47-yard line by George Cumbie. And to the tight end of the back if you're going to succeed. On third down, John Searles. It's caught by Gooman. A brilliant catch. First down. He's to the 31. There aren't many fullbacks who would have caught that ball. There's a pass by Jones. He is hit and sacked. That's what Green Bay needed, and they got it from Mike Butler. He's their leading sack man. And he better snap it pretty quickly. He just got it off, and nothing going with Rodgers. And it is a fourth down play, and flags go down as a couple of players get tangled up out here. Lofton got all hooked up with Pat Thomas. And the officials try to keep the other players away from the scene. Joel uh, Pugilist. They're in bump and run. Oh, he, he gave him a little massage right in the two. chin. And gave him another double dipper. Gave him three. And Grabbed that, him by the face mask. Yes, he did. And watched it. Oh, you don't see it. And then at the last, watch him throw this out. Watch him. Bang. Uh-oh. Try to give him a little facial with an elbow. Well, we, we know after watching. They're going to call it against both. Green Bay leading. And uh, the kick. Irvin will return it for some yards. Only a couple. He got three or four. That's all. And the Rams have to do their job. And they have to get a touchdown. They trail by five. The 43. Of Los Angeles. And Jones can't afford any mistakes. All alone is Gerald Thomas. He's to midfield. And down into Green Bay territory. Keep that S's hood is playing. Body in motion. Jones is looking to the right side. Throws to the right side. Intercepted. That's the mistake I said he couldn't afford. George Cumbie, the linebacker, picked it off, ran it back. Green Bay has the ball. 521 the first. 521 left. The first interception by Jones all day. You know, I can't understand, really. They have a situation, this idea, with a one-on-one -on, -one on this. Second and eight. Motion by Epps, and the pass play. It is caught for a first down. Motion by Epps. Here's a toss, and the running play breaking it for the first time today. It might mean for a first down. A rookie from Penn State. Face mask, number 79 on the defense. First down. A 19-yard game. Boy, what a big play for the Green Bay Packers. That's got... Motion by Epps. Jefferson probably won't return. Meet again over the left side. Drives down near, well, to the 27-yard line. 3-10 left. A delayed Ivory. He is inside the 15-10 touchdown. Eddie Lee Ivory and the Rams cannot believe what's happening to them. 
you really have to give Bart Starr and his coaching staff, look at the beautiful, beautiful hole there. Eddie Lee Ivory, and he makes it happen, runs through another tackler. Nolan Cromwell is trying to get the ball loose and misses the tackle, and he goes into the end zone on molesting what's going to happen. Packers want defense right now. Kick off two, the Rams 30. Left, it's not over yet. Bert Jones was picked off the last time he had the ball. He jumps it off short to Gerald Thomas. Breaks a couple of tackles, comes across the 40, gets the first down, and he's out of bounds. First down from the 42. And the pass wide open to Thomas again. Very smartly gets out of bounds. Way to hold up, good boy. Way to hold up. He, he got out of bounds, Jack, but he lost yardage in the process. He should not have final. They beat the Giants 16 to 14. Third and five for Jones. Plenty of time. Caught by Thomas and a first down. And they're going to give him a first down with his forward progress. And it is short by a couple of inches. It'll be fourth down, and the Rams will have to go for it. The ball is at the 48 of Green Bay. It's Thomas and Gooman. And it's uh, Gooman with the ball, and he got a first down. That was good defense, but he got a first down by about a yard. Richard Turner finished him off. Forward another mistake. The flag is down. Looked like an encroachment. Pass is thrown and intercepted. Anderson, it was hurt earlier, but I think as we watch the run back, that Green Bay was in the neutral zone. Packers have five defensive backs in the game. And the he's swinging out to Gooman. He'll get out of bounds with the ball after getting a first down. They're just giving them that, aren't they, Hank? Yeah, they just say, here, take it. We'll let you make the play and uh, take New England leads Baltimore by four. First down play for Burt Jones. And he was hit as he threw, and it's intercepted. And Green Bay has the ball. The play still has not been whistled dead, and now it is dead, and that was John Anderson again, and that's the game. Shorter field than the team that you're playing. The ball is at the 19-yard line. And they break it with Ivory. He gets the first down. Out to the 36. And Lee Ivory out to the 36. Number 40 is out of Georgia Tech. Misses his fourth year. And he was a number one pick in 1979 and has not been able to play an entire season because of injuries. A long snap, hoping to get an offside. Ivory gets 100 yards. And Ivory gets the first down. And if you had any questions about the outcome of this game, that's it. And there's Bart Starr. And is he happy? And the sellout crowd here at County Stadium saw a game that won't be matched for quite a while.